Hey guys, it's Zara. Um, I just want to talk about the Shrewsbury match coming up on Monday. And if you didn't know, it's at 7.45 on BT Sport. Well, lineup wise LVG is going to really struggle. We have 14 first teamers which are unavailable for the match. Then what's even worse is De Gea is set for a scan on the 19th of Feb. Well, we don't know how that's gone yet. And when we do, we'll probably let you know. And then when it comes to lineup, we're only left with Romero. Now I think Romero on Thursday night actually proved himself. Maybe it was at the start of the season he was just completely, completely just done by all the pressure that he was given. Because he did seem like he was capable. And that really surprised me because we were all dreading it during that, was it 15 minutes before the match? Yeah, I think it was 15 minutes before the match when we found out that Romero was going to be taking over. <laughs> Gave us all a little heart attack but... We managed it in the end, although we managed to absolutely fail and fail miserably at that. Let's hope it doesn't happen for Shrewsbury. There's no Rooney, no Fellaini, no Barclay Jackson. Uh, Damien's got shoulder injury, as we know. And then there's no Donald Love, as he's cup tied. That says to me that we're going to have Romero in there, as we said. I think we should keep Smalling on, I think we should keep Lind on. And then this might be a little bit strange to you all, but I reckon we should keep Carrick and Herrera on as well. To me, they both were to blame for that incident on Thursday. However, we need them. We need them to be great. We need them to encourage the youngsters that will probably come into play as well on Monday. I mean, it's against Shrewsbury. They'll, sh they'll surely have to have as many youth players as possible. Um, one of the players that I think should be on is, I don't even heard, Axel Twanzebe. Right. He's a central defender, and if you want a little bit of background from him, he's a youth. He got youth player of the year in 2015. He is 18 years old, and he's also the first ever person since Gary Neville to be captain during his first year at the youth team. Now I think that's incredible. I think with that type of leadership skills that are inside him already, he might be able to encourage the youngsters to be able to get the ball and just play it through we really need something like that we really need to be positive about Monday we've been so negative recently we need some positivity to help us bring us through and then it should be simple for us the match we're not Man City who's got Chelsea or Chelsea who's got Man City if you want to put it like that we're against Shrewsbury Shrewsbury are currently 19th in their league we shouldn't be worried but some of us are I'm not going to lie I'm slightly worried but we need to be positive as I keep saying we need to be looking forward to this match that's going to hopefully overturn us all and hopefully decide that we can do something good this season at least. Um, we don't need so many defenders parking the bus at the back as well. I think we need to play it. We need to play it full attacking. We, we don't need to pass it wide. We just need to go straight forward. and We need to go straight forward with force. We need to scare them. That we shouldn't be scared of them, the Shrewsbury. We need to we need to scare them all. There used to be the days when Man United used to scare any other team out there in the world. Where have those days gone? We can't just say that ever since Fergie's left that we have to go back and hide in the corner like we did years and years and years ago. Before any of us was practically born. We need to scare every single other team out there and say you know what this is Manchester United we are united as one and we have the passion of football that will actually get us through and actually get us to win things people are saying that oh well we've ended up sacking Europa and FA Cup is all we've got if FA Cup's all we've got we need to give it our best and that is all what we can do that sounds horrible that that's all we can do but keep saying this we're Manchester United we've won so many titles we've managed to do so many great things and this is what we're left with and if we don't end up getting some good result out of FA Cup then what on earth have we done for these past few three seasons we've completely failed as a team we all of us as fans need to actually get up and encourage encourage our team to do something if we keep having a go at them and having a go at pl individual players and having a go at the manager although i i can tell you that 
I have a go about it constantly, as you've heard. We need to actually be encouraging for once. Maybe shout at them a little bit to say, like, oh, get up off your asses and do something, but... We need to chant, we need to chant our hearts out at those matches. We need to just completely go for it. And if we don't go for it, what fans are we? We don't want to be fans like City, who half of them don't even go to the match. We need to see full seats, even though that's difficult to ask. I mean, the amount of people who are passionate enough to go and protest about the ticket prices for the Michelin match. We need to have that much passion to see Man United to actually do something. And the other thing that we need to know is we can't underestimate Shrewsbury. We underestimated FC Mitchell and completely and look where that got us. I know that the fans, we didn't underestimate them. We said that this was our chance and we threw that chance right into a wishing well. And I mean a wishing well because we need a wish right now. We need a miracle to get us out of this mess. And I don't think we're going to get out of this mess. We just need to get out of this mess with some dignity. Our dignity is already lost. We need to be able to come out on one day and we need to smash it. This is this is Shrewsbury, as I keep saying. This isn't like a Man City v Chelsea match. This is something that, that not only the fans, but the board and everyone should expect. And if they don't expect that, if we're aiming for a stupid draw once again, then we don't even we don't even deserve to be in the Premier League. Now that sounds shocking, but to me that's not Premier League material. We need to make sure that we, as a whole Manchester United family, pull together, and we need to be able to say that we can win these matches. And if we can't win a match against Shrewsbury, then we officially, and I mean officially, have completely lost it. And that means the manager is in the wrong and every single player on our team is in the wrong. So, try and stay positive guys and let's hope for the best on Monday. Let me know what you think at, at Z underscore Silverstone on Twitter. Just please tweet me, let me know what you think. Tell me if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm right. Tell me if you have a completely different idea for the team lineup. Tell me if you've got any more ideas and I'll reply back to you. Hopefully speak to you soon.